brethren to St. Zachary's parish. We give thanks to God that we are worshiping here together today. Today in our liturgy we celebrate the first Sunday of Lent. Our presider today is Brother Peter Ramsdier and our deacon is Jack Smith. Please stand. reading from the book of Genesis. God said to Noah and to his son with him, See, I am now establishing my covenant with you and your descendants after you, and with every living creature that was with you, all the birds and the various tame and wild animals that were with you and came out of the ark. I will establish my covenant with you that never again shall all bodily creatures be destroyed by the waters of a flood. There shall not be another flood to devastate the earth, God added. This is a sign that I am giving for all ages to come of the covenant between me and you and every living creature with you. I set my bubble in the clouds to serve as a sign of the covenant between me and the earth. When I bring clouds over the earth and the bow appears in the clouds, I will recall the covenant I have made between me and you and all living things so that the water shall never again become a flood to destroy all mortal beings. The word of the Lord. Praise be to God. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Your ways, O Lord, make known to me. Teach me your paths. Guide me in your truth and teach me. For you are God, my Savior. Your ways, O Lord, are love and truth to 
those who keep your covenant. Remember that your compassion, O oh Lord, and your love are from of old. Be your kindness, in your kindness remember me, because of your goodness, O oh Lord. Your ways, O oh Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. Good and upright is the Lord, thus he shows sinners the way. He guides the humble to justice, and he teaches the humble his way. Your ways, O oh Lord, are love and truth to those who keep your covenant. A reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, Christ suffered for sins once, the righteous for the sake of unrighteous, that he might lead you to God. Put to death in the flesh, he was brought to life in the spirit. In it, he also went to preach to the spirits in prison, who had once been disobedient. While God patiently waited in the days of Noah, during the building of the ark, in which a few persons, eight in all, were saved through water. This prefigured baptism, which saves you now, it is not a removal of dirt from the body, but an appeal to God for a clear conscience. Through the resurrection of Jesus Christ, who has gone into heaven and is at the right hand of God, with angels, authorities, and power subject to him. The word of the Lord. Jesus, 
If we find such a thing, we have to challenge ourselves to try to change it. Brothers and sisters, land is a wonderful opportunity for us to grow as a disciples of Christ. It's also an opportunity for us to reflect on our spiritual life and uh, challenge and uh, to challenge ourselves so we can uh, change those things that are not necessarily good in us. Challenge is good. So let us prepare our hearts and prepare ourselves for this uh, upcoming feast of Easter. Amen.
give us the right disposition, O oh Lord, we pray to make this offering. For with them we celebrate the beginning of this uh, sacred time. By the Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Be with your spirit. Let our heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give the thanks to the Lord our God. He is right and just. It is we right and just our duty and our salvation always and ever to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty, Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. By abstaining for the long days from earthly food, he consecrated the through his past the pattern of our Lenten observance, and by overturning all the snares of the ancient serpent, taught us to cast out the leaven of the malice, so that the celebrating worthy the Paschal mystery which we might pass over at last the eternal Paschal feast, and so with the company of angels and saints we sing the hymn of your praise, as without that we are playing.
that by the help of your mercy may be always free from sin and stay from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of yours. Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, be thy living, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with the will for the bad rain, for an endeavor. Amen. Um, so the Lord be with you always. And in your spirit. Safely let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Spread by Winter Faith is nourished the hope in the Christ and the charity strength. We pray, Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and the living bread, and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The announcements for today are as follows. Stations of the Cross will be held every Friday through Lent. Please see the bulletin for more information. Registration is required. Great news! If you missed the first sign up for our picture directory, we have added two more days, February 26th and February 27th. See the bulletin for information and sign up instructions. Call the office if you have any other questions. Just for participating, you will receive a complimentary 8x10 portrait and a church directory. Please take note, even non-parishioners are invited. Please take a brochure on your way out. Thank you. Precautions for safe distancing are in place, and all sessions are one slot per family. So please sign up. Brothers and sisters of the meeting of the Lenten season, I wish you a wonderful journey to this land. May the prayer, fasting, and almsgiving enable us to see Christ in those who are around us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace. Love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.